Hi guys, uh, I'm back here on Lee Chess. I'm going to play another 15-10 game. Uh, I hope you are well. Looking forward to another game. Uh, if you want to play a game against me uh, for the channel, then just uh, send me a message here on Lee Chess or comment on one of my videos, get in touch with me that way. Yeah, we can arrange something. Just gonna say it's taking a bit long. Alright, so D4, C4. Alright, the Slav, Knight of Three. Um so the problem if we do that is that our dark square bishop is blocked in. We could maybe look into that and then go in for knight c3. Uh, if we go for that uh, and then he takes, what do we do then? I think you're supposed to play a4 there to prevent uh, him from playing b5. Because then if you played b5, you would take, he takes, and then uh, the knight could uh, take that pawn anywhere that's supporting it. And then you just need to move this out of the way and you can get to this pawn. So I think you can play knight c3 here, fine. But I don't want to have to go through all that to get the pawn back. So I'm happy to take first. And then play knight c3. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to play bishop g5, just because there's a pin. I can just uh, leave this there, this little situation. Uh, and then only after he moves his knight away, uh, I can just take his bishop. So. so I'll play e3. So I have a very slight lead in development. It's not really a huge lead at all. But you can see he hasn't developed any of his queenside pieces and I've developed basically all of my queenside pieces and all but one of my kingside pieces. So I have to develop this bishop and then I can right. They don't normally play this. I think it's supposed to be good for white if they do play this. This is fine for him to do. He can go for this. So the idea is um, knight to there, bishop takes bishop, knight takes knight. Oh, okay. Yeah, so now this is definitely not good for, for him because now I get to ruin his pawn structure and yeah that's just, that's just not going to be good for him 
Could I throw in a check first, just for fun? Could I throw that in? Check. Blocks. Takes. 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 Uh, hits the queen. So it's a nice little tempo. Yeah, so there that move would come with a tempo, which would be a nice thing. So after we gain that tempo, then we can castle. And uh, he's got a worse structure in the center. And we can just... Um, Carry on. Should I go for that though? I don't want to trade off too many pieces because if I do that, uh, I may make it into a uh, into a draw accidentally. Point takes nine. There, it's there, so it's a tempo. Castles after the queen moves somewhere. Don't know where the queen would move to. Oh, unless it moved to there, in which case we wouldn't be able to castle. That would actually be an annoying move if it went to there. Okay. So I've decided I'm not going to go for that, instead I'm just going to What if queen to their check? Hmm. No, we'll just take the knight, won't he? I want to ruin his, queen, uh, his pawn structure here, so I'll just do that, I think. Knight takes pawn, pawn takes, knight to there, or knight to there. I'm trying to put pressure on this pawn. It wouldn't be fun for him to have to defend that pawn. So I'm thinking I should possibly do that. So here I'm thinking of knight to there. So we're putting a bit of pressure on this pawn. And we're also blocking against this check. This pawn's going to be awkward for him to watch over for the rest of the game anyway, so. That's like a permanent advantage I've created for myself. So future plans are getting the rook to see one, uh, putting a bit of pressure down this file. And so on. Um, maybe I should uh, develop with uh, a check first so I can castle more easily. I think I like that. We can play rook c1 after. Um, what do we do here? Probably just takes, right? Takes check, queen takes. We could then play rook to there, or we could castle. We'll castle.
Oh, there are even future possibilities of playing a move like this uh, to deliver a check uh, if it's ever tactically favourable for us to do so. Because he's moved this f pawn and he's weakened himself around this part of the board. So just um, in the coming moves, rook c1, uh, possibly f3, captures, captures, get a knight into there, that would be a really good place for the knight to be. Get the rook to the C file. Yep. A normal move. Um, he could go for that. I don't really want a piece to get into that square, so I'm considering this move just to just to keep pieces out of my part of the board here. I mean, what what's what one move here just to permanently keep a piece out of b4. Possibly isn't the best move, but I didn't want a knight to come into that square and be putting pressure on my a pawn uh, threatened to go into this square. See so if a knight had gone to the, it would be threatening these these points here, and it would just love to just sit there here on d3. So just a3, simple little move, just always keeps him out of that square. I don't know what he's doing there. Possibly ideas of rook to there and just pawn storming me down this side of the board. It's a possibility. Um, here I'm just thinking of f3 and uh, we can try and get stuff going uh, ourselves here. So I'm trying to keep to a little bit of better time management this time. So I've been trying to move a little bit faster. Still trying to make good moves, but still move a bit faster. It's possibly not even the best move to play knight takes. It's possibly better to do rook takes. So hold on. Uh, if um, if rook takes, uh, we'd have ideas of getting rook to there, queen to there, and putting a bit of pressure down this file like that. That, that that would be what would be what we'd be trying to do. Is that any good? So if rook takes <clears throat> so obviously that Right, okay. So, to, a rook to there um, 
would he just immediately play g4 like that? And then if we played that, he'd probably just play that. And he'd be able to block us off before we even get there. So we can keep that idea in our back pocket for, for the future. I'll be interested to see if uh, the computer says that that was the, uh, the best move. I'll be very interested to see that. Right, material's still even, so we don't actually have an advantage yet, which is annoying. You can't just start a game and get an advantage. <coughs> You have to actually do something to get an advantage. We haven't done it yet. Okay, so... So, what should I be looking to do here. Uh, could we look at moves like knight into there? Um, he may immediately play that move, but then we would play queen into there like that. He, he could play that. No, he couldn't. We could just take. Um, uh, a knight and queen combination uh, around the enemy king is supposed to be extremely dangerous because that covers a lot of very important squares. So so if I went for knight to there, he's just going to take, takes, takes, takes most likely. He could take and take again. And we, we don't have uh, any advantage there, that's just, um, it's most likely going to be a draw. Unless we're able to get some amazing bit of activity or something and manage to win the game off of it. Whereas uh, this, just uh, go for uh, an attack kind of thing. If he didn't play that, uh, he, he may play something else. Um, well, we've still got a queen into there as uh, possible ideas, and we could see how that would pan out. Um, part of me really wants to play knight g5 like that and just see how it goes. It's quite an aggressive move. It has some follow-up threats to it. Um, I'm going to play it. I may be able to put the pressure on and possibly get a game-winning advantage. Possibly. Yeah, so... Uh, ideas are... If I played Queen to there right now, uh, he could not take that because uh, this pawn is pinned to the king. So uh, if king went to there, then then what would I do? Hmm. Queen to there. He may play a move like that. Uh, 
uh, even there, we, it may be possible to just uh, gambit the knight completely if you if you went uh, king to there, play like rook to there or something. But no, that that probably doesn't work. The idea would be if uh, if takes uh, rook, rook to there and uh, you can try and threaten stuff. and threaten stuff that makes them hate their life. Um, right, alter alternative moves. Uh, this knight's under attack right now, so we have to reverse that. We could play queen to there. If he plays that, we can obviously play queen takes with the check. Uh, he could not do that to block, because he'd just lose on the spot. Uh, part of me really wants to get my queen there and see how he um how he wants to deal with that problem. Part of me really wants to do that, but I don't see a follow up. So if queen went to there and um he obviously can't can't take right away. Uh, and let's say he did that. What's our next fantastic move? We can maybe go for knight back to there, knight to there, and then look again. That. Maybe that that is actually all right. Knight to there. So hold on, queen to there, king to there, knight to there, with the intention of like knight to there and getting knight into that square or something. Or no, queen into that square, perhaps. We'd work it out. But I think um, maybe queen to there first is Hopefully good. If I played knight back to there, and then he played a move like that, we would just immediately play that and we'd be pressuring this point anyway. Um. Yeah, and we could even threaten to take this pawn as well. Knight to there, knight to there. Uh, at least uh, if we do this now, uh, we could threaten a fork here. So I'm playing this. So knight into there. If he goes there, we'll. Oh no, hang on. Oh, we can't do that right away anyway. Uh, if he goes with takes, we would have. Um. No, we wouldn't even have check right away, would we? We'd have to take first. God, this is now annoying for me. Okay, I think I want to try and get my queen in. So that way we can take with the rook. Thank you. 
Okay, so now he's uh, he's threatening uh, two pawns at the same time, which is bad for us. Good for him, but bad for us. Uh, if we went with rook takes, rook takes, uh, we wouldn't be getting there in time to be able to fork, unfortunately. Um. If he goes there, he'll have uh, an attack against our rook as well, so that's annoying to have to deal with. Um, it does look like we are going to lose a pawn here, but we we've got a counter-attack going anyway, so maybe I shouldn't have been so aggressive over here, I've just sort of... So rook to there, uh, knight takes, rook takes rook. Oh yeah, we could have just done that. I am really stupid. I'm really stupid, that would have just held everything together really nicely. But uh, okay, fine. Uh, apparently I prefer to be stupid than, than good at chess, so... I don't even think I've got a killer attack going here, and I've used up all my time successfully as well, so I could not be happier with uh, what I have accomplished here. And now he's going to be winning an exchange as well, he can just go with a knight to there. No, he can't. My, knight, my knight's there. So at least my knight's doing something. But we will remove that. We need to move very quickly. Yeah, I should have just moved my queen back. Just queen e2 solves all my problems there. I wasn't even looking at the queen moves. <sighs> you know me, I just prefer to wait till after. Just just wait till afterwards and then, then play a move that would have saved, saved me. Okay, fine. Uh, here, I think we just have to play uh, Queen back a bit. Because there isn't an attack going anywhere. We don't even have that um, fork going for us anymore, so... Just playing a position down a pawn. It's down a B pawn, so. No, oh, actually, uh, if, if he took with the rook, yeah, we would have to take, obviously. I was just thinking about the pre move then for a second. Okay, so if he wants to use his time, then we can think on his time instead. Yes.
Damn. Simplify just a little bit. Okay, we're back up to 30 seconds. That's fantastic news. I thought I had um, the set on here so it made a sound when I got notifications come through. But it just did it silently, I don't know why. Okay, so what are my plans going to be? This night is okay, it's not the best. It's doing its job a bit. Um, we can get the queens off here. If we want. We probably should. So check. And take back with check as well. And now here we could go for knight takes knight and be down a pawn in a losing rook end game. Oh, of course, that is a fine move to play as well. And it looks like we're just going to be down even more material anyway, so... Okay, we just want to move the king up just a little bit, get a bit closer to the action. could go with rook to there and just go for this pawn. That's potentially all right. Ish. Potentially all right ish. Okay, we want to get in behind this pawn. We want to sort out this B pawn there as well. So sometimes my mouse gets annoying like that. Gets a little bit stuck. So 
So it's a losing weekend game. But that was our fault. We should have uh, played the king back. So he's just given us a pawn back, which is nice of him. He still does have a past B pawn here, so. <clears throat> this could still be um, not a draw anyway, so. We'll find out. These pawn, uh, these squares are all taken away from the king now. It's only got one of these squares to go to, so there we're there. I don't know what good that does us in the long term. Uh, I'm thinking we should go for something like this and try to push our center pawns up. So we want to go there, we want to get in behind there, we want to push. And we just want to push these pawns through to get a win. Mm -hmm. Yep, a normal move. Um, here, if we played rook to there, rook takes, king takes, pawn push, king there. We can catch that pawn, apparently. Um, I might like to keep material on board though. And actually go for this instead. If he plays the check, we'll just go back in behind it, and we're going to be trying to push these uh, these pawns through. Helps when they drop a pawn. Just get the rook back to there, and nothing's really changed except that now he's down a pawn. I'm going to be pushing my DNA pawns up the board to try and get uh, the win. <clears throat> it may have been more accurate to push the um, the other pawn. Here we could even just play take the H pawn. I'm going to be greedy.
I was told a long time ago that activity uh, is what wins weekend games, so we just need to make sure that we are more active. Yeah, so I'm just going to push these pawns through and I'm going to step the king up. Um, why should I move the the rook to we don't want the rook to get attacked so This should be a win because he dropped those couple of pawns. If he goes there, we'll check him again. Oh, we want to try and get our king into this this square. Uh, so we can try and get our uh, our pawns up and working for us a bit better. Uh, possibly it's more accurate if we push first, because otherwise, uh, after we put uh, put our king there, he could come there and actually no, that's not even a threat. Okay, I came up with um, a way to remember this the other day, and I've forgotten how I came up to remember it. Uh, how how ironic. Okay, so it's if a pawn is a certain number of squares away from being promoted, then a rook, uh, if it's not already on the same uh, rank, it can't stop it. Okay. It's a, it's a very specific number. Here we could even trade down into a winning endgame, couldn't we? Check. Takes. 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 Push. Or oh, no, push, push, push. So, um, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. So, look, check, takes, takes, king takes, king to there, king to there, and we can push through. Oh, okay, so we can get a queen first. Okay, that should be fine. Yeah, so it's important that we're going to be able to uh, promote this pawn so quickly. We're going to get a queen first and we'll be able to get another queen. So I'll probably end up just sacking off a queen for this pawn, just for fun. <clears throat> but yeah, this will be a win now. This is very simple. Just a king to there, and then we can just push this pawn through, and he's got nowhere to stop that. Uh, the closest he'll be able to get is to there, and he, we can just push through it. it. There's nothing he can do.
and it's our move. So let's check him around a bit. So I think I should just push here. If he plays like queen check or something, we're just going to immediately seek a queen trade. No, maybe I'll go to there instead. So maybe I'll go there instead. And then try to push through and get mm -hmm. one more. We are still up a pawn, so if we can promote that, that equates to a second queen. We may not be able to. But I do want to trade off queens. Because then uh, I'll easily win it. I didn't calculate the number of moves it would take him to get uh, a queen. Uh, I just uh, could see that I was uh, really close to promoting my pawn and I just uh, I went for that. I was pretty sure I'd get there first from how close I was in relation to where he was. So we're just going to go for a swap down. Really simple. We're going to trade off the queens and then we're going to win. Because now we're attacking the queen as well. We can free move that pawn move. Yep, yeah. and there we go, that's the win. Good game. Uh, far from flawless. Uh, end game technique, believe me, but a win is a win at the end of the day. Come on, try and not get to be loads and loads and loads and loads of mistakes and blunders, please. I'd really rather have minimal uh, mistakes and blunders. Inaccuracies I can sort of live with ish. Oh, damn. That must have been why I missed uh, the queen c2 move. No, queen e2, sorry, not queen c2. So four inaccuracies, three mistakes, and a blunder for good measure. Good, 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 good. Oh, okay, uh, add in a fourth mistake just to make me feel really good about my level of play. That's fantastic. Seeing if any comments in there. There are not. 
So there is one blunder. Got four mistakes and a blunder. Looks like the, uh, the opening was pretty decent. Look, see, now I, I thought that was a good idea, getting the queen to there. We got over 20 no's without any anything at all. Queen h5 is apparently fine in, in itself. But here, Queen e2 was the move to play. And I, I said that afterwards, but I just uh, I didn't play in the game because I'm stupid, as we've already established. Okay, now uh, now it's shifted. It considers this a draw now. Yeah, he just had to, um... Oh my god! <laughs> that rook's undefended! <laughs> oh my gosh. That is amazing. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, that, that was definitely a blunder. <sighs> I, I can't believe I, I missed that. That rook was undefended in the game. That's hilarious. Look at that. Really psych me out. Put put your rook right next to mine, where it can just be easily taken, and I can just win the game easily. And then watch me take the pawn. Oh my god. Okay. So after the um the obvious mi miss missed opportunity there, I haven't even gotten to that part. Uh, I missed the opportunity to take his rook. Rook takes a3. Check. Okay, let's go through this. So, after this, okay, after this, rook to there was best. I played rook to b3. I then checked which was the best move. I grabbed it up one. Rook takes g6, check, king h7, rook back, king e3, king g7. Okay, it prefers e5 over d5. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't sure which one it would prefer. Uh, then we did play rook takes h6. We did push the pawns. Oh, there was a force checkmate sequence here, starting with that. I missed that. Uh, instead, I played um, rook b6, I then moved my king up. It looked like quite a logical move to me, moving your king up to help out a bit more. Right, okay, so 
here, and instead of playing through there, so after takes, it immediately wants that move. And the idea with that is, uh, he, he, he can't, that takes less time or something. Ah, oh, okay. That way he doesn't actually get to have a queen at all. That's a good one. Yeah, so what, what was it I was saying? That, uh, I came up with something the other day. Uh, a little way to remember this. So when the rook is not on the, uh, the back rank, already defending uh, against the pawn promoting. If okay, let's let's say the uh, the rook moves to it may be something I'll do in a study later on or something. Queens off, and then we're going to get a queen anyway. So the one blunder was when we missed the rook. In terms of the mistakes, that was one mistake. That was another mistake. Um, I'll look back at that one in a second. And that one, so, so there was two right around the same point then. Okay, so here we go. Here's our mistakes, right? H3 was a mistake. This is holding a draw. Okay, that's fine. I missed it, I played this in the game. Okay, and here was uh, the other mistake that I wanted to take a look at. This move. Well, so the idea is you just wanted to get in behind this pawn to try and make it more difficult for him to push these uh, these pawns through to a win. Rook pawns are notoriously difficult for winning with anyway, so... If you're only up one pawn and, it's, and it happens to be a rook pawn, then your chances aren't as good as if it was like a DRNE pawn, for example. It, it didn't have too many problems with uh, with how I was dealing with this uh, this end game in general. There were a few inaccuracies here and there. But okay, uh, Queen E2 was the uh, was the thing I would change if I did it all again. So I got 46 efforts into pawn loss. My opponent got 64. I had four inaccuracies, four mistakes, one blunder. He had seven inaccuracies, seven mistakes, four blunders, 364 average into So the idea with this move. He can't get to there. And the idea is that the king can't stop two pawns. He 
you can't get the uh, the opposition. He's one move too late. Uh, if he got the king to there, so j just to illustrate this, say here you let him get the opposition. Uh, this would then be a draw. The opposition means he gets to block uh, the squares in front of the pawn. But we get the one move uh, before him, so we can prevent him from doing that, and then we get to queen. And this is just an easy win, it's a mate and six. So, king f7 on this move. Uh, like I said in the game, I, I was just um, really thinking about. Um, just uh, protecting the pawn so it can go through and win. This is still winning, uh, even though he's got a queen. Yeah, how I played it wasn't the uh, the best possible way, but I found that nice little way to get the queens off, and then it all worked out. Yeah, that that the uh, the queen e two move is the one thing I would change about this. That. Yeah, this w it's not like this was even a difficult move to find. So it just defends two points. That's that's the one thing I'd change about this. And then I'd look to get my knight into there and still continue on with my plans. I just had to pull the queen back. That's all I had to do. So yeah, I just need to be a little bit more flexible in my thought process. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, so just a little bit more flexible in my way of thinking uh, when I'm in the game, and then I can uh, actually spot this move and play it. Yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the game. If you did, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and like I said before, if you want to play a game with me in the future, just... Uh, just uh, send a message to me here on Leechess or uh, comment on the video, get in touch with me that way. Uh, either way works fine. And uh, yeah, we can arrange a time and we can play a game. Uh, yeah, so uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks very much. I uh, hope you look. Uh, hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something. And I hope you're looking forward to the next video. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.